This is a Knight Spanmaster AM and shortwave uh, general coverage uh, table radio that was sold by the uh, Allied Radio Company in Chicago. It was made in Japan from about 1957 to 1967 and was originally a kit and you could buy it for $25. It's a regenerative receiver, which means that it's a significantly simpler design than the standard superheterodyne uh, receiver that we use on a daily basis. But it only had two tubes, so it was a very simple uh, circuit to uh, build and, uh, and get working. But uh, being a regenerative receiver makes it uh, quite a bit different from what we're typically used to in that uh, we're constantly having to deal with this uh, regeneration control and there's also a, a, a fine regeneration control over here. And what those do is um, uh, there's a, a certain level of feedback uh, within the circuitry itself in order to get uh, the amplification that we need to be able to hear signals. But that has to be adjusted uh, continuously because of the fact that if we have too much regeneration it goes into a, a feedback mode and if we have too little we don't hear the signals. So right now I'm tuned on the, um, the AM broadcast band at an area that don't really have too much in the way of, uh, of local signals here in the daytime. And uh, so what you would typically do is uh, if I've got you know the regeneration control uh, too far down I basically don't have anything and uh, in this range here I'm starting to at least pick up some noise and if if I go too far it starts to go into uh, to feedback so typically what I would do is uh, just set it uh, just before it goes into uh, feedback mode and uh, give a little volume here and then I can start to uh, tune around and typically if I pick up a station it will uh, You'll, you'll start to hear feedback because now I have a, a station that I'm amplifying and uh, there's too much gain in the circuit. So if I cut the, uh, cut the regeneration control down, and then I bring up the uh, volume control and adjust it to a, uh, a comfortable listening level. So uh, this radio works fine. It's tricky to use a regenerative receiver, but uh, a good example of a, uh, a kit that a lot of people built in the late 1950s and early 1960s, the Knight Spanmaster. It's really a big deal. You could almost always get a copy of it. See, now I'm going all the way back to when...